right, and we are back from the break. We are going to be arguing the finals for our top eight debates. We now have Tiny Towns versus Space Base. The two seed. The two seed. There was some upsets the la- on the semifinals. So, just to let everybody know, the way these things scored down, uh, Love Letter was our second highest vote getter at seven votes. Wow. And um, Edge of Darkness, I forgot to mention, was one vote. Uh, or That was the only one that was in the honorable mentions, was Edge of Darkness. Really? I didn't oh, okay. really. I thought it was in the top ten, but for some reason I got that wrong. Um, and what was it? Istanbul was one of the games tied for four. Okay. So now this will be really interesting. Tiny Towns going against Space Space. Space Canadian Space. Collector, yes. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for subscribing. You're going to love it. And then go check out our Everyday Board Game 2020 YouTube channel, and you can see our other debates for previous episodes. We'll and go over those after we're done. To them, um, you can also find them on Podbean under Everyday Board Games. Right. I believe it's 2020, I, or you could just search for it under Everyday Board Games. And um, give me a second. I could probably embed the link here for the Podbean. Sure. Um, While you're doing that, uh, let's quickly talk over the final rounds. Now, this unlike or this very final round, we don't pick a side. Normally, in the previous ones, we do pick a side and we try to argue for it. This last one, we just simply break it down at our five categories that we talked about before. Ease of play, art and production, meaningful choices, replay value, and immersion. The winner of this will be ranked, uh, in our opinion, of course, in our debate, will be the best AEG game. So with that being yeah. said, um, we're not going to pick a side. I know which one I prefer over these, but I do really like them both. And I, I probably agree with you on the one that we would prefer, but we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, we got to be fair. Find... Got to be fair yeah. about it. Sure. So let's talk about ease of play. They're both incredibly simple games. Yes. Um, Tiny Towns is effectively bingo. Whereas Space Base is like super simple Catan. Still Catan, still managing resources, which yeah. is your money. Uh, it's like an advanced Machikoro. Um, simplicity and familiarity, I think, definitely goes to um, Tiny Towns, of course. Likelihood of getting to the table, that would be a hard thing. Some people just like town building and civilization some people do like space and sci-fi more i think that would be a wash um but ap prone that that's that would probably be a wash as well yeah uh i don't disagree with you on that one um uh give me uh let's finish this and then i'll find the link uh for the podcast okay sounds good so that means that that gives ease of play to tiny towns yeah Okay, so one point for Tiny Towns. Uh, let's jump to Meaningful Choices. This one hurts, but I'd have to give it to Space Base. Now, impacting long-term strategy would go would likely go to um, <laughs> Tiny, Tiny Towns. Towns. But impacting others and arbitrary choices... Would definitely be uh, yeah, space base, and that's why I would give it to space base, just because sure. the, the the out of the three, only Tiny Towns wins one. Yeah, yeah. Um, replay value, minimum number of plays for full experience. Now, space base has so much different changes. There's so many different kind of cards. There's even a you yeah, win the, card the, that you can strategize towards. The Pluto itself, a uh, shy Pluto. I think gives that part of replay value to Space right. Base just because it does stuff in the game. I haven't played it, but yeah. from what you mentioned, without spoiling it. Right. Now, can you imagine a Tiny Towns Legacy? How amazing that would be? That would actually be kind of cool. You would, like, chop up the cubes? Like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mark certain so buildings me, is yours. Um, the length of time and scaling well, though, I think would go to Tiny Towns because, again, right. as long as you have boards or play mats for people to build on and the pieces yeah. to do it, you can hold as many people as you want just because you have the resources for it. I think Tiny Towns gets the scaling well Agreed. in length of time. It actually plays pretty quickly. Yeah, it really does. Um, additional content, though. I'm going to make an argument for Space Base, and I'll explain why. Yes, everything can change in tiny towns and you have a lot of variability 
but the expansion for Space Base, the Shy Pluto expansion, is Saga expansion number one. They numbered it for a reason. You have the ability to continue a storyline that introduces the mechanisms. They didn't just give you modules. They didn't just give you some extra stuff. They created yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give the you additional that just content. because of that reason. Uh, there, yeah. yeah, we know there's another expansion coming in. And it's funny because... Did you know Tiny Towns is like Everdell, where it's got little, uh, it's it's a tiny uh, animals, like mice and stuff like that? Yeah. I, I did not know that until you look at the covers of yeah, it's that's the little only way you know. Yeah, exactly. That's the only way you'd know otherwise. So, let's give replay value to Space Space. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. So, I mean, and I'm not going to lie, I'll be happy if either one of these win, because I did yeah. both games. Yeah, me too. Um... So, meaningful choice and replay value is space space. Ease of play is tiny towns. Do you want to go art and production? Art and production? I have to give to tiny towns, honestly. Space yeah. space has some decent generic looking cards. It's got what a couple die in that nice little track for each player board. But right. tiny towns is just colorful. The art is amazing in it. Mm -hmm. The the little meeple town stuff, yeah. beautiful, and the. The design, it fits. It really yeah. fits. There is one thing that I really do like. I mean, both of them have really neat designs. So, like, the, the cards, the fact that you deploy them and you put them upside down yeah. underneath the board, that's really smart. But there is a building that you play with <coughs> in tiny towns. The I think it's the black building, or it's the bigger the one. Storehouse. And it has a little corner cut Where out of it perfectly store. for a cube. I mean... I don't know if that was intentional. When, they, when I first heard about it, they told it me that. It was intentional. Yeah, then see that, mm, that's a really Because it's good called up. the storehouse for a reason. Right, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I will give art and production to Tiny Towns. And here comes the big one, Game Immersion. Immersion. Okay. Theme matching mechanisms. Space Space. Let's think about this. You are. I, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking about it. My thing is, Tiny Towns matches just as well as Space Space. Because honestly, and hear me out on this. Okay. You could put anything on Space Space, and it would still match its mechanisms. Because when it comes down to it, it's case in point, Machi Koro. If you put sure. Machi Koro in the Space Space mechanism, it'd pretty much be the same. Yeah. I mean, well, you're sending the ships out. To, to do different missions. You're bringing, yeah. They're bringing back their specialty as... Uh, I'm sorry, the crew has more theme when it comes to that, when it comes to space space. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty arbitrary. Because you're sending people out on missions, and it's just a basic trick-taking game. Alright, I'll give you that. Um, Warehouse Factory Interacting Bank. Interacting with other players, name. other than yeah. the part where you can call something uh, to screw another player that they don't need in their system... Uh, th that's the main interaction of other players in Tiny Towns. Right. Space Pace. That there is cards that directly. Th directly there's not many, but there and are it's one. not just that because the, when you deploy the ships, they interact on other players' turns. Yes. Yeah. So you're always immersed in every player's turn. So, so here one comes one. the hard part in memorable moments. I've had both memorable moments in both games. Stuff that stands out. Yeah. I know there's one that you're about to tell the story about that involves your wife and your son for Space Space, which is a good memorable moment too. Yeah. Yeah, I've had memorable moments for both of them. I see how they can both do it. Um, there, I We got to call it a wash on that. There's no... We both have really want to. Yeah, we want. I want to play the crew too. He has yeah, it. Yeah, so do I. I want. I, it. I own it. We have to play it. I just. It's funny. I had to import it from the UK. Didn't know I imported it from the UK, but right. I had to wait for it to come in. Oh man. Yeah. No. I. We got to call it a wash. The memorable right. moments and. I mean, because it has the you win card, and you can set up your whole base just to and still lose and still lose. <laughs> And it, I mean, it's so good, and that's such a, like a stand-up moment when that happens. It's like right. shooting the moon, and and I mean, no pun intended, but yeah. shooting the moon in like a trick-taking game. It's so good. But yeah, and then but with, with Tiny Towns, you have those too, where you have stand-up moments where you're like, yes, I finally completed my my special card that I have, so I get this ability now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and, 
to the point, I played Space Space and Tiny Towns both with two players. I really enjoyed both games at two players. And right. I really enjoyed games at multiple players, so. Right. Uh, whew. Yeah, we gotta call it a wash, which means All it right, goes to so our... so it's a tie. Our tie. Wanna guess who wins? Space By Space? Manvo. By four. Wow. Space Space had the highest total of votes at eight. Tiny Towns was at four. So Space Space is our overall AEG game. There we go. Space Space is the winner. Good job, Tiny Towns, being the... They put up they put up a fight for a game that's relatively new. Yep. It's only a year old. Yep. I think it just hit a year old because it's June now. Yeah. Right. I know you are low on time, perhaps the Space Base story. Another time. Yeah, so basically what happened in, in Space Base, are you talking the... The rage the, quit. The table flip, yeah, or the rage quit. So, um, me and, and my wife and my kids were playing, or uh, my son was playing Space Space, and we were playing the Shy Pluto expansion, but the, that, it doesn't matter. We we're, were playing campaign, and my wife had not won Space Space yet, and she triggered the end of the game, and, but I was the one turn after her, so I ended up playing... And I got 40 points as well. And we tied at, as far as points. And so the tiebreaker goes... And this is a really creative tiebreaker. You play a single additional round. And then whoever... Uh, yeah, they're the best AG taking place on it. Yes. Um, and so you play one more round and that's it. However, if, if there is still a winner after that round, then you just call it a tie. Or still a, still a tie after that round. I ended up getting something like 25 points in one turn when my wife only got like 10 more. So it was like 50 to 65. And so she, like after the game was over, I was like, I'm sorry. And she stood up and she was joking and pushed the chair and it fell over. <laughs> and my son, who's 10 at the time, thought it was so funny. He got up and threw his chair on top of hers <laughs> for no reason. And I was just in shock because she technically rage quit a game. <laughs> <laughs> and she right, was, so. that, that was one of the best memorable moments in gaming, hands down. And that's now one of her favorite games. I think it's her second favorite game now of all time. And Dominion's her first, right? Or is it Ticket to Ride? Monte Carlo? Nope. What's her favorite game? Carcassonne. But you uh. know... You know, actually, that Space Space might be our third, but you know which one is, is probably unseating it? Uh, Quacks. Quacks of Quedlinburg, yeah. Oh, man. And she's right, not a gamer, so... but she loves it. But good job, Space Space. Good job, Don, John DeClaire. Uh, really, I mean, for just having two games in this list as well, um, yeah, it, it, it stands on its own. I get the hype. The more I play it, the more I want to play it more. It's so good. So there we go. So, before we end this, just to let people know what's going to be happening through the week, on Monday yep. is going to be, we're going to be filming two uh, videos of Board Game yep. Breakdown on Monday, starting at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. The yep. reason being we're starting so early is that we have an interview with Justin DeWitt from Fireside Games, and you want to tell people who we're interviewing at noon, Mountain Daylight Time? Yep, at noon, we will be interviewing Jamie Stegmeyer of Stonemeyer Games. Now, if you've never tuned into one of our board game breakdowns before, what we do is we go through their entire back catalog of games from either a publisher or a designer standpoint, and we break down every single one of them. Talk about the ones we do and don't know, and then explain the ones that we do, of course, and then just get you excited of why we like these designers and publishers so much. So, Justin DeWitt. Of Fireside Games and Jamie Stegmeyer of Stonemeyer Games at noon. And then on Wednesday, usually our normal recording time is 11 o'clock Mountain Daylight Time, or 12 o'clock Mountain Daylight Time. Uh, always subject to change because of family issues right. and stuff that's going on. On Wednesday, we are doing our Chits and Giggles discussion podcast where we're talking about two games to be combined. Basically, you want to see this game mechanics with this theme from this game or stuff like that. That's what we're going to be talking about. Right. So that's going to be a different one. I already have two. I, I found another one that I added on. And then, of course, next week on Friday, we will have our next topic debate. So Canadian Collector, as one of the advantages 
dude, thank you again for thank joining Thank you for in. coming, yeah. If you want to stay and hang out with us for a few more minutes after we stop the podcast, we talk to our viewers at home and decide what we're going to be debating for next week. So with that being said, this has been a wonderful episode. Uh, very fun. Hits close to my heart. But Space Base, earned, it's earned, it earned its victory. And then, yeah, it will be an exciting interview. Yeah. It'll be good fun. Um, so with that being said, I've been Daniel. And Daniel, but before we go, remember you can catch all these re-uploads on Everyday Board Game 2020 YouTube, as well as the audio podcast on Everyday Board Games 2020 on Podbean. And as some of our viewers discovered today, join us in for any time when we film live, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, normally noon, Mountain Daylight Savings Time, uh, at twitch.tv slash everydayboardgames. And with that, have a good one. Have a good one.